millions of young people in the Arab world are asking for values which exist in Europe and this is a sign of great hope for all of us and we should do everything to communicate. One should never have only relations to people who are in government and dictate their countries just to have small talks. No, we need always a double strategy. Communication and dialogue with civil society, with organizations who defend human rights and have some relations with the official uh, people as well, the new parties which are now on the ground and have a good communication with them. But it's very important for the countries in the Arab uh, world that they themselves decide to be open to Europe, to be open to the world, because if those countries in the Arab world close their own borders, then this would be very harmful and dangerous for the liberty and the civil societies. We have programs uh, Erasmus, Erasmus Mundus, so that we can invite students from Arab countries and uh, other countries in the world as well. But this is only the second step. I think the first step must be in the countries, in the Arab world, that all children get education, that all children have to go to school, that there will be a school system in the Arab world, that there are schools in all villages, in all cities, and the young people have to go to school so that they can learn not only their language, that they learn to write, that they learn to read, and that so this is a contribution against illiteracy. The heart of everything is that we respect the dignity of the human being. And this includes that all human beings, all people, from a special age of course, have the right to vote, that no party enforces people to accept things they don't want to accept, that we have a society that is based on tolerance and on this basis the people in the world can communicate, can be partners and it's very important that we don't accept the idea of clash of civilization which some uh, people predict. I think we have the responsibility as politicians wherever ever we work that we favor and encourage the dialogue of cultures. The great challenge now is to combine religion, religious beliefs and democracy so that the world can live in peace together and that each person has a chance on this earth. Mm -hmm.